cayenne pepper in the quarantine tank. More of a salt bath. Very temporary. Five minutes at a time for a total of 15 minutes. Pepper is doing much better. Still can't stay fully upright all the time. But actually able to right himself for the most part. Swollen belly has gone down. Callie has been very helpful whenever Pepper gets stuck. She actually swims over and gives Pepper a little buff. And that seems to work. Callie doesn't seem to need the salt bath as much. But she did seem a little down, so I figured it couldn't hurt. Plus, Pepper is much more relaxed in the salt bath when Callie's in there with her. So. Seeing as this is the exact same thing that happened to Klaus at around the exact same size, and they're from the same breeder, I wonder if it's more of a genetic thing. Just have to be extra careful. But my little pepperoncino is Definitely showing signs of improvement, where Klaus never showed any signs of improvement and only got worse and worse and worse. And there goes Callie. To give Pepper a little boff. Watch. Oh, well, now she's just sitting and keeping Pepper company. Sometimes she'll boff her. Anyways, I've got two tablespoons of Epsom salt not aquarium salt in my 10 gallon tank. 10 gallon tank is filled with water directly from the main tank, which I will then fill with clean water. So it acts as both a water change and as a way to make sure that the levels aren't too different, that I'm not shocking my poor little fishies when I put them in the salt bath. Two birds, one stone. Pepper has started eating again. Um, yesterday, Pepper would not eat any peas. Today, Pepper has eaten a pea. Still has not gone to the bathroom, but step is a step. Salt bath is working. And that is my update on my fishies. <laughs>